Hello, this is Survival Guyver, and today we're showing you a little bit of my um, emergency kit in the car, my, part of my winter kit. Um, I would have wanted to show you outside, but there's a couple of problems. It's 9 degrees with uh, 40 mile an hour winds and gusts up to 60. Um, tried several times to get the camera to even photograph a photo, not even a video, and it would freeze and just die. It would just kill the battery almost instantly. Plus, uh, the tripod moving around and everything else. So, I'm just going to show you this. I pulled this out of the car last night. Um, so, this is the um, Octaurus. It shows that there's like a reflection on this with the light that's above. So, that's just, I guess, a trick of the light. There is no actual reflection there, but that's what it's doing. Um, this is the uh, Octaurus uh, Woolen Goods. It is a wool blanket. Uh, like a military style, thick military blanket. It's hemmed all the way around all the, all the sides. Um, it weighs four and a half pounds. So it's not something I'd want to hike with. Um, but it does make it a great emergency blanket. Um, so the size is 64 inches by 88 inches. So that's what? Uh, five and a third feet by seven and a third feet. Something like that. I'm trying to do the math in my head, and it's not working. It comes in a whole bunch of uh, colors, um, like a, a coyote tan color, black, green, orange, puke yellow, darker green, like a forest green. There's this uh, blue, a navy blue. There's a gray. There's a maroon. Um, and they're nice. I mean, for what it is, you know, it's just a wool blanket. is washable. A wool typically has short strands. They added some like a like a polyester thread on the inside uh, that are much longer to help hold it together. It is machine washable. Most wool blankets you have to go to a like a laundromat to clean, and they're a nightmare. But this is machine washable, and the more times you wash it, the softer it's going to get. Uh, initially, it has a slight, um, almost like an oil smell. Very, very slight oil smell, and that's typical of wool, uh, usually military-style wool blankets. Um, it's um, water-resistant, not waterproof, but it's water-resistant, and it's fire-retardant. Now, wool is typically fire-retardant in itself. There's nothing added to make it more fire-retardant. Um, I think it's just the manufacturing process of weaving it all together, pick up some of the smells from the machinery. Um but uh, it's nice, really, really nice. Um, it comes in a, I don't know how much plastic container, there's a uh, plastic sleeve that it has. Um, so if you want to keep it in a, like in my case, the trunk of my car, I can protect it from everything else that's in there, like the oil and the antifreeze cans and things of that nature. Um, you don't have to use this just as to keep yourself warm. In this, where it's folded as is, you can put it on the ground and kneel on it. If you had to change a spare tire or look underneath the car, you can use it as a, um, uh, a footprint or ground print for a tarp. You can even use it as a beach blanket. Um, with the beach blanket, I'd be careful because the amount of sand you're going to get stuck in it will be a pain in the butt to get out. But you can. Um, of course, you can use this uh, for like car camping, regular camping, as both a regular blanket or a pillow. Some kind of support for your knees if you need to. Um, so there's a lot of good things you can do with it. I recommend one in the winter because, what was it, last year or the year before? One of the highways in Virginia closed during a, a blizzard. Um, it closed the road for like 24 hours and people froze to death in their cars. Uh, they ran out of gas trying to run the heater. Or they died of carbon monoxide. But if you have a nice heavy-duty blanket... You can wrap yourself up. Now, I do keep a different kind of blanket in the car as well. I'll show you that one later, um, which is more of a um, plastic and mylar, almost like a almost like a space blanket, but it different. It's like a tarp with a uh, reflective inside on it, made by the same company. I like their products. They're really really tough. Um, they're well. Uh, how do I say it? They're they're well manufactured. Um, so at least it'll keep you warm. 
you may not be the most comfortable stuck in a car or wherever you might be stuck. It may be in a, a house if you had um, if you lost power and it took a while for power to come back. At least you can stay warm. That's important because warm makes you alive most of the time. So I do recommend picking up a um, a uh, wool blanket of some sort or heavy duty blanket. As I said, I wouldn't hike with this because it's heavy, four and a half pounds. It's a lot heavier than anything I would do. Just so you can see, let me see if I can zoom in far enough to see this. 80% um, wool, 20% synthetic. So that's what we were talking about before with the long strands or short strands. Wash cold separately. Um, on delicate cycle in front, loading washer. Uh, top loading may damage the blanket. Uh, line dry is best results. Uh, may also dry clean to minimize shedding. It's made in India. So, something that's not made in China. So, that's it. That is the... Taurus military wool blanket. So if you want to take a look, I'll leave a link in the description where you can find this on Amazon. And um, I'm going to be doing a couple other reviews on some other uh, winter items for the car. Specifically, that's how I use them. You don't have to use them that way, but I do. Um, so that can help you out in case there's ever some kind of emergency in the really bad weather. All right, thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and have a glorious day.